serum sickness in humans is a reaction to proteins in antigerum derived from a non-human animal source, occurring for a year or ten days after exposure. It is a type of hypersensitivity, specifically immune complex hypersensitivity. The term serum sickness-like reaction is occasionally used to refer to similar illnesses that arise from the introduction of certain non-protein substances. It was first characterized by Clemens von Perkett and Bar copyright Laskik in 1906. Causes When an antigerum is given, the human immune system can mistake the proteins present for harmful antigens. The body produces antibodies, which combine with these proteins to form immune complexes. These complexes precipitate, enter the walls of blood vessels, and activate the complement cascade, initiate an inflammatory response and consuming much of the available C3. The result is a leukocytoclastic vasculitis. They can also cause more reactions resulting in typical symptoms of serum sickness. This results in hypocomplementemia, a low C3 level in serum. Equals antitoxins and antigera equals. Serum sickness can be developed as a result of exposure to antibodies derived from animals. These sera or antitoxins are generally administered to prevent or treat an infection or envenomation. Equals drugs equals, some of the drugs associated with serum sickness are, allopurinol, barbiturates, captopril, cephalosporins, griseofulvin, penicillins, phenytoin, procainamide, quinidine, streptokinus, Sulfonamides, rituximab, ibuprofen. Equals others equals, allergenic extracts, hormones and vaccines can also cause serum sickness. Symptoms, symptoms can take as long as 14 days after exposure to appear, and may include signs and symptoms commonly associated with hypersensitivity or infections. Rashes, itching, joint pain, especially finger and toe joints, fever as high as 104 a degree Fahrenheit and usually appears before rash, lymphadenopathy, particularly near the site of injection, head and neck, malaise, hypertension, splenomegaly, glomerulomyphritis, proteinuria, hematuria, shock. Diagnosis Diagnosis is based on history given by patient, including recent medications. Treatment With discontinuation of offending agent, Symptoms usually disappear within 4 euro 5 days. Corticosteroids, antihistamines, and analgesics are the main line of treatment. The choice depends on the severity of the reaction. Use of plasmorphoresis has also been described. Prevention Avoidance of antitoxins that may cause serum sickness is the best way to prevent serum sickness. Although, sometimes, the benefits outweigh the risks in the case of a life-threatening bite or sting. Prophylactic antihistamines or corticosteroids may be used concomitant with the antitoxin. Skin testing may be done beforehand in order to identify individuals who may be at risk of a reaction. Physicians should make their patients aware of the drugs or antitoxins to which they are allergic if there is a reaction. The physician will then choose an alternate antitoxin if it's appropriate or continue with prophylactic measures. See also, hypersensitivity, Arthur's reaction, serum sickness-like reaction. References External links, serum sickness-like reactions, basic pathology, Robbins A.L., 9th edition.